Assalamu alaikum friends, I am Zubair Hassan, hope you all are fine. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic on quantitative research. In last lecture, we have discussed quantitative, qualitative research and now today we are going to discuss its quantitative research. So dear friends, let's start. We will first know its meaning of quantitative research. What is the meaning of quantitative research? Quantitative research means any systematic investigation of a phenomena based on the data collected in numerical situations is called quantitative research. So, means any systematic investigation of a phenomena based on the data collected in numerical situations is called quantitative research. So, what does it mean then? Quantitative data. So, quantitative data is the data collected in numerical figures and yet to be analyzed statistically to identify the relationship between variables. So, dear friends, quantitative data is that data which will be collected and can be quantified. Quantitative data is the data which is collected in numbers and can be quantified. And then it it's obviously it can be analyzed statistically. So the data which can be collected in now which is collected in numbers and yet to be analyzed statistically is called quantitative data. So friends, this was all about the meaning of quantitative research. So let's go ahead. It's types. Types of quantitative research. Dear friends, I have mentioned two types of quantitative research. Two important types of quantitative research. So it's first one, descriptive research. Descriptive research is the first important type of quantitative research. There are so many types of quantitative research, but dear friends, I have included some other types in descriptive research like survey research, correlational research and casual comparative research. That's why because the survey, correlational and casual comparative research, all the three types are the subtypes of descriptive research. So far as friends, I have included all the three in descriptive research to make you understand that also these are the subtypes of descriptive research. In other lectures in YouTube channels, in various places, they have given separately the types of quantitative research like survey, descriptive, correlational, comparative, experimental, quasi-experimental. But I have all, so far as I have included these three in descriptive research because these are the subtypes of descriptive research. So, what is the descriptive research? Descriptive research is the first statistical research of quantitative research. Its first subtype is survey research. Survey research is also a type of quantitative research, correlational research to study the relationship between variables quantitatively and casual comparative research. This is the another type of quantitative research. So this was the descriptive type of quantitative research. Descriptive research of type of quantitative research. Now another important type, experimental research. Experimental is another important type of quantitative research. There are so many types of experimental studies like pre-experimental 
ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटल एंड कॉफी एक्सपेरिमेंटल प्री एक्सपेरिमेंट रिसर्च ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटल एंड कॉफी एक्सपेरिमेंटल बट आई हैव मेंशनड ओनली वन हियर एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च एंड डिस्क्रिप्टिव रिसर्च देयर इज अ बिगेस्ट डिफरेंस इन इट बिकॉज़ डिस्क्रिप्टिव रिसर्च इज द रिसर्च व्हिच इज डन व्हिच स्टडीज द करंट सिचुएशंस ऑफ द फिनोमेना बट एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च इज समथिंग डिफरेंट देन डिस्क्रिप्टिव रिसर्च डिस्क्रिप्टिव रिसर्च डजंट हैव कंप्लीट कंट्रोल बट एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च इज दैट टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च व्हिच इज डन इन laboratory situations where there is complete control on the variables on the study of investigator but descriptive research doesn't have complete control but also we can say descriptive research and experimental research these are the types of quantitative research but it is always said that descriptive research is the first type of quantitative research descriptive research is the first type of quantitative research and experimental research is the another type of quantitative research what is experimental research experimental research is that type of research where an investigator would have complete control will have complete control on is steady steady cosy experimental there are so many designs in ex included in experimental research like pre experimental design where is least control true experimental design where is complete control and cosy experimental research where the uh, where the data is not collected through randomized techniques but we this is the another uh, important topic uh, we can discuss in another video lecture but this time we have to know only the types of quantitative research so friends this was the types of quantitative research now we have to go ahead its methods of quantitative research what are its methods of quantitative research dear friends we will know the methods of quantitative research by these three important methods surveys surveys is the first method of quantitative research like we can see survey included some other sub types like school surveys public surveys and health related surveys school surveys are those surveys which are conducted related to schools public surveys public surveys are the surveys like census which are conducted on people on which are related to public which are related to for example nations and another last health related surveys health related surveys are those surveys which are conducted like we can say also health related surveys are sometimes conducted by departments but health surveys are very important surveys in today's system because there are so many there is so many care needed to the peoples like in today today's coronavirus is a biggest disease there is a need of biggest need of health related surveys to check how much people are involved in this disease so there are uh, so many programs there are so many surveys conducted and conducting by departments by government so friends this was all about surveys next questionnaire questionnaire is the another important method of quantitative research which is mostly used in educational studies to collect the data questionnaire is employed by every investigator in educational studies to collect the data there are so many types open ended questionnaire closed ended questionnaire we can have both the two but in quantitative type of research questionnaire like closed ended questionnaire and open ended questionnaire to collect the data numerically we use questionnaire as a method of quantitative research to collect the data and interval and ratio scales of measurement measurement of data this is the another interval i have mentioned here interval and ratio scales to which we can collect also the data in quantitative nature 
So friends, these were the methods of quantitative research. Now friends, let's go ahead the quantitative research analysis. What are the quantitative research analysis? There are so many methods. We can say so many uh, statistical methods which are to be analyzed, which are to be implied to analyze the data which is collected in numbers like descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics like mean, SD, standard deviation, median and mode. And next, inferential statistics. Inferential statistics are two types, parametric and non-parametric. So, uh, parametric includes t-test, f-test and z-test and non-parametric data may include the independent t-test or dependent t-test and we can say median scales so we have not to go this time this is the another biggest discussion parametric and non-parametric but friends i have mentioned inferential statistics here parametric and non-parametric because i have to link parametric and non-parametric in the analysis of quantitative measures because there is the biggest confusion in new learners they when they study parametric and non-parametric statistics because the application of statistics is must after know when they know know the parametrics and non-parametric status they are unable to apply they are unable to apply wire parametric and non-parametric states is to be used. So far as I have mentioned in, in inferential statistics, parametric and non-parametric. So in inferential statistics, we usually mention t-test like test of significance, ANOVA, f-test like that and MANGOA. So far as dear friends, I have mentioned uh, in inferential statistics, parametric and non-parametric statistics. This was all about quantitative research analysis. So, friends, in last, I have mentioned some key terms of quantitative research, like large sample. Why? Large sample means quantitative type of research. In quantitative type of research, the sample collected in this research is very large. Then, qualitative type of research. Second, systematic analysis. Dear friends, in quantitative research, there is systematic analysis done in quantitative research. The quantitative research means it is which uh, you have to remember in the meaning of quantitative research. I have written it is systematic investigation of a phenomena. So far as systematic analysis, the word is very important in quantitative research. And next, control. There is con uh, control in quantitative research which the data collected by the investigator by the researcher to study there is a control on the data collected by the researcher for analysis and last hypothesis hypothesis is the another important word applied or implied in quantitative research rather than qualitative research in qualitative research hypothesis is also implied but in the type of research questions which are which are going to know the meaning of the concepts to get the proper understanding in qualitative research but in quantitative research the hypothesis word is used because hypothesis is tested in quantitative research like there are so many types of hypotheses selected by any researcher based on their background of knowledge but hypothesis is another friend's uh, topic so we don't have uh, to discuss this time because uh, hypothesis can be discussed in another type of uh, topic furthermore this was all about friends uh, uh, related to the quantitative type of research.
i hope you got proper understanding of the topic so please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to leave keep it till next video